reason to paint. Meaning, yeah. yeah, and when I look at my older paintings, I like how they look plastically, like they have all the, you know, all the things that I have the pleasures, you know, in, in art, but uh, I had no consciousness about them. You know, I was just free up in the air and didn't have any uh, base or a pedestal to be sitting on doing those things. So it, 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 I have that pleasure today that, you know, I'm, I'm following a certain line. Uh, the second point you mentioned, I'm going to quickly, uh, uh, I'll put my opinions on that. Yes, uh, I mentioned my parents being artists, but they are more of teachers than artists, actually. My father is one of the greatest teachers I've ever seen. He, he, he taught us things that were probably very boring for us as kids that time. Um, talking about my brother and I, especially me, because he would be so accurate explaining everything to you. And he would tell you like, okay, are you going to eat that orange? This is the way to cut it. And it would come, he would make me sit next to him and this is what you do first, second, third. And he would say like, keep your knees together like this, hands here, like all kind of details. Mm -hmm. As you know, it, it would make me think, while I learn how to eat orange, how to cut an orange from this you know, person, I actually am thinking, I should learn this so I can teach it to somebody else. Mm -hmm. You see, like that's, that's how I grow up all the time. Mm -hmm. So today, too, everything that I see that I get impressed or I, I really admire, the very second feeling kicks in, which is, how can I show this to the others? How can mm -hmm. I convey this to the others? And so I feel very uh, comfortable dancing tango and having that intention of analyzing it so I can actually convey, convey the, uh, the structure to the others. Mm -hmm. So that helped a lot. And these paintings, as you brought up, have the same quality. I mean, I, I'm not painting because I just like them only, or I'm not painting because I want my artist friends to see and appreciate, or I'm not actually even painting for the art world. Um, I don't want to say I don't care about it, but I don't have any intention that, you know, these paintings should be next to some other paintings of the other great artists out there or so, mm -hmm. and then people should compare or should see them together in the art gallery. I have no intentions about that. I, I paint these so that people can understand what I find in the tango music. Mm -hmm and they can uh, educate themselves. It's part of the research. Can you talk a little bit about the structure and the composition of the paintings themselves? Um, I know you're uh, in service to the music and, and wanting to, uh, to communicate um, accurately the, the intent of the music through the paintings. It's very hard to say how much of these paintings are coming from my personal perspective and how much of these paintings actually accurately following the existing composition of these tango songs created by Canaro or De Sarli. Um, I feel more comfortable uh, relying myself or depending the painting onto the existing structure of the music. Uh, and within that condition, uh, I don't want to call it a restriction. Within that uh, sense of composition, of course, I find uh, my space there with a selection of colors or selection of textures and uh, even selection of the shapes and forms, which is very strange because, uh, yeah, it has to be me in the first sight to say, I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to use this size of canvas and I'm going to use these kind of media to paint. Yes, but then I know I select those with the intention of because these would be the perfect way of conveying what this guy did, you know, in his composition. And when I mean composition is, you know, how long that piece is, three minutes, 30 seconds usually, or where in the music that you hear the melody being more uh, uh, dominant and, and where the rhythm more dominant and where the singer starts to sing, where the violin or bandoneon plays the solo. So those are the things that those guys actually decided how it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I feel lucky <clears throat> and honored and comfortable about using that instead of uh, reinventing the wheel, as they say. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, uh, there is that space that I find myself in it, uh, that I take all these decisions in front of the painting, you know, 
I, I maybe sometimes let go of the brush to take over and I notice I make shapes and decide certain colors to be next to each other that maybe is not in the music and after maybe three hours of doing that and maybe looking at it and admiring it then I play the music and I say like no that doesn't really fit so now I have to <clears throat> sacrifice from what I found mm -hmm. and try to fit it into the music but still something that I've done there is going to be there you know, I kind of, I use the music to reshape the things and I find my inspirations to reshape what the music says and ends up being a nice balance there somewhere in the middle. So I noticed that um, there's a, you're in a dialogue with the, uh, with the artwork, that there's actually a, a communication that you're, you're doing something to the work and it is responding to you and in a way it seems like um, that, that's a wonderful paradigm for the, for the dance itself, that there's a, there's a dialogue with your partner, there's a communication that is going on. Um, can you speak a little bit about that? That's right. You, you are able to look at it from more outside than me, perhaps, because I'm in it, I'm making it happen. Mm -hmm. And you're watching me doing it, and you can say, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I can see. It's wonderful. And yeah, that must be happening, because uh, as I said, some of the times, the physical surface of the painting and the, the plastic quality of the paint and I just take decisions and we have that relationship there while we even accidentally sometimes forgetting the music and what the tango song was you know inviting us to mm -hmm. follow mm -hmm. um, while I have that connection with the painting which makes me think of two people dancing with each other but they get so mesmerized with each other and they may be doing things maybe it's not as musical anymore mm -hmm. But it is just so much about them, mm -hmm. that, that connection, which is also beautiful. Mm -hmm. We cannot have everything happening at the same time, right? But then, yes, I do have that connection to the music. I do have that respect to the music. I do have that sense of being a follower to that great lead of the Canaro's piece. And, you know, fit myself in it and find myself in that, you know, form. That's another connection. And perhaps, no need to say, the painting and the music have that connection, which is what we are trying to convey, which creates that beautiful triangle that the painting is not showing what I really do. Painting is showing what the music did in those times. It's kind of the reflection of the sound in a visual uh, rectangle. I'm curious, has doing these paintings had an effect on your dance? Uh, well, it is. As I said, these paintings came as the very natural um, results of a, a lecture that I was doing about music. Mm -hmm. So it's not a very uh, old thing, it's a very new thing. And compared to how long I've been dancing, these paintings are babies. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how much you can get influenced out of your babies, you know. Uh, but it does, I mean, in a way that in order to make it happen, in order to paint, now I have to study that music more and more. I have to respect every second of it. Before, when I only danced to the song, I had, uh, you know, my patterns and my steps, and I had my partner and the tendency of her body wants to do things. The available space in the Milonga place was deciding what I should do. Uh, so I was out of all those restri restrictions in a way, you know, when I wanted to paint these songs because nothing else but what the song tells you know matter and um, in order to maybe uh, summarize this I can say uh, it gave me a direct connection to the music I don't even have a partner in front of me mm -hmm. as a dance partner mm -hmm. um, I have a medium a tool that will help me to reflect that music mm -hmm. so uh, yes it made me study the music much more and not only me anybody looks at these paintings they will be actually finding a, a parallel form parallel universe to understand the song in a completely new way